Hello, my name is Richard Capone, and I'm the CEO and co-founder of Let's Go Learn. And today, I'm going to be talking to you about LGL Edge. I'm going to be going through a few slides to provide you an overview, and then I'll actually be showing you um, some of the program as well. So first of all, Edge is a personalized learning product which uh, creates an online course for each student in math or ELA. Um, it also allows for personalized assignments as well. So it's a pretty dynamic program. But let me start off with a couple of background pieces of information. We start off by not assuming that all students are like, we, we assume that all students are unique. And this is very different because I would argue that a lot of instructional programs hover their instruction around grade levels. So they sort of say, well, this student's at fifth grade, maybe we'll go down a little fourth grade, um, or the students down lower, and they sort of push all their lessons as a whole. We don't do that. We assume every single student is unique, meaning this student could be a fourth grader, they could be advanced, this student's an eighth grader, they could be behind. And we also don't make assumptions about individual skills. Um, you can't assume that if somebody is at a certain level of multiplication that they're the same level in division. You can't do that. You have to think that students may have unusual gaps, and that's what we do. All right, and that's very important to understand that uh, initial premise. Now, the other way we have approached learning is understanding that at-risk and non-traditional learners require special techniques to optimize learning. And that means looking at cognitive load, looking at motivation, looking at engagement. These three factors, if you bring them together, they optimize learning for students, right? And a lot of the students, let's be honest, who are on a personalized learning product have additional challenges. They've maybe uh, have been low for many years. They've maybe never gained one year of gain in one year time. And so we have to realize that we need a program that can work for these students and, and it, it uses a different approach. And that's what Edge 3.0 does. So here, is our, here are some factors about our approach that I think is really important to, to note. So first of all, we start off with a very powerful diagnostic assessment. This powerful assessment gives lessons to students exactly at the level they need. So this reduces their cognitive load. If you have a fifth grader and you assume they low in fractions and you give them fourth grade lessons, it may still be too low. You may need to give them actually lessons at the K level and then move them up. If you don't do that, you increase the cognitive load and that's what we do. So we make sure that we decrease the cognitive load by giving students the exact lesson at the right point by having a genuine granular diagnostic assessment up front. Okay, the next factor is lessons are culturally relevant. You want lessons that are, have diverse characters, um, that have different topics, so that it, it increases motivation and inclusiveness and engagement for the students. This is important, right? And that's another factor we take into consideration. The next factor that's really important is music to activate the brain. So I would say probably about 85 to 90% of our lessons have songs in them. And we do this, we write custom songs so that each student can learn about a topic and music is great because it not only reduces the cognitive load, it increases motivation and increases engagement. And we know this because in this day and age too, people are, or a lot of students are listening to TikTok. They're um, using music all the time on their, they're listening to music on their phone. So music is a part of the way we learn. And that's why it's a really, really great feature to have and integrate into our lessons. The next thing is voice stress and intonation. This is important because if you use intonation properly, you could reduce the cognitive load because you use it to emphasize different points. Rise over run, you know, whatever it may be, uh, this is a really important part and this is integrated into all of our lessons. Okay, the next uh, factor or feature is multiple modes of learning. If I want to talk about um, characters or, uh, you know, a Venn diagram, I want to show it. I don't want to just necessarily say it. You show the graphs over how things overlap. And again, that acts to reduce cognitive load and also increases engagement because students are looking at things, they're interacting with the lessons and it makes it easier for them. Now the final piece is gamification. This is really important. At the end of each explicit lesson, um, we then go into a gaming mode where students have to gain, get 100 points and earn badges, bronze, silver, or gold. This encourages them to try harder, to maybe go back and sometimes redo lessons to get a higher badge. Uh, so this is a part and part of our system is to have gamification um, integrated into it. All right, so how does this whole thing fit together? The way it works is we start off with a diagnostic assessment that automatically generates a personalized gap-focused plan for each student in math and reading or math or ELA, and then they get that personalized course assigned to them. So that's what Edge does, it's automated. 
Um, but then the other piece is the teacher can still assign lessons separately. So there's two factors, either teacher assigned or automatically assigned. And then of course we have this sort of embedded ongoing progress monitoring. If the teacher chooses to provide quizzes to the student, any quiz that's passed, if that lesson was in the lesson path of the student, it pulls it out, right? So it's, it's, um, it's great because it's real time adaptive logic adjusts the learning path of the student. And this is really especially important in intervention or special education where maybe students are receiving multiple interventions, right? So you don't want them just stuck on a path. And the reason why we say this is important is because we need to accelerate learning, right? It's really important. Now I'm going to show you a lesson, but most of our lessons follow this format. They initially have some explicit instruction. Um, and then there's a song that reinforces it. Not all, I mean, 85 to 90% will have a song and then you go into gamified practice. And that's the same thing for either math or ELA. Again, it's a, it's a, Explicit instruction, a song reinforces it, and then gamified practice. So let me go ahead and show you guys a lesson. In algebra, we often take equations with two variables, x and y, and graph them on a coordinate graph or coordinate plane. Let's find out about coordinate graphs. So you can hear from this, we're giving the student an explicit instruction. Um, they're hearing a song, it helps reinforce it. It makes it easier to memorize rather than hearing some boring vo voice talking about stuff. They can click on the bar if they want to advance it or rewind and hear something over again. So it gives them complete control of getting this initial explicit instruction. Let me jump ahead to the next section. Look at this coordinate graph with four points plotted. Find the point on the graph and choose the matching button A, B, C, or D. All right, so initially I'll get this correct. Four comma zero, I'll click on um, A. That's it? Find this point on the graph. Two comma one. Good. Select the matching point on the graph. Now I got 14 points, 100% accuracy. Let me get something incorrect. Nope. X equals four. So move right to the point four on the X axis. Y equals five. So move up five. This is the point C. So we now got explicit instruction, corrective feedback. So I know that this is the one. I click continue. Select the matching point on the graph. All right, now let me go ahead and show you another lesson. Look at this paragraph about planets. The main idea is that there are eight planets that move around the sun. It has many details which support this main idea. These supporting details explain and describe the main idea to help us understand it better. For example, one detail explains where the word planet comes from. Another lists the planet. So in this lesson, it is going through and exactly explaining the main idea details and it's showing you visually, it's highlighting text, right? So this is your explicit instruction. Let's jump to the next section. When you read a passage, you need to understand it. Ask a lot of questions to help you understand it. These are the questions to help you get by. Who, what, where, when, why? Who are the people you're reading about? What really happened? Think it all out. Where did it happen? The address, the place, when, the day, month, year, time. 
So again, now at this point, the song is reinforcing it. And you see, you know, this jingle makes it easier to remember the stuff. Who, what, when, where, right? It's very easy. It's easier to remember. The music helps me cognitively understand. I could back up, fast forward. Um, you know, again, I can adjust it as a student. I have complete control. So now let me jump ahead to the gamified part. Read this passage and answer this detailed question. Okay, again, now we're back into the gamified practice. I go ahead and click on something. Nope. Four people traveled to the island. Jeff, Jen, and their father and mother. Okay, I got that one wrong. So <laughs> it gave me corrective feedback. It said it was actually four. So I hit continue. Answer this one. On which day did they stay in the room? It's the second day. That's it. Here's another question. And so on and so forth. So you understand. So it goes through, and again, you're trying to get 100 points, maintain your accuracy, and it's going to go through other passages as well. But this is the way Edge works. Let me go ahead and back up. Okay, the next part I just want to show you is that once a student um, logs in, they get a real-time pass. So this is what a student would see. They see the lesson that they're working on, and it gives them these lessons as they're progressing. So this will change in real time again. So if they take an, a, a quiz later on or whatever it may be, or if they were given an assignment with a lesson and they did something early, it pulls it out of their automated path. Now also, as they're earning badges, they can also see the badges as they're earning them. They can go back and get a higher score. They also get certificates of achievement that the teacher can share as they complete lessons and milestones. Now the teacher has complete control. They can log into the class. They can see which students, where they're at, who needs more help, how many hours they're on, how they're doing, all of their scores. And so the teacher has complete access to that. They can, that way the teacher can control the intensity and frequency of the intervention for each student. Another uh, great report is a student progress report. This is where you can look and see exactly how they're doing, what lessons they done, have they had to repeat lessons, are they struggling on anything, how many minutes did they spend on it. So you have complete control over this as a teacher. All right, that is Edge 3.0 in a nutshell. Um, thank you very much. And you can always go to our website to find out more information. You could also click on a button to talk to one of our educational consultants who could set up another follow-up demo. Thank you so much.